Hi guys, PJ here with a short video on what is Baldur's Gate 3. At the moment it's in the press, it's everywhere, but if like me you've never played a Baldur's Gate video, you know, video game, you, you just don't know what it is. Well, this is to sum that up pretty much. The game at the moment is only available on PC. It's just released, but it's got over 800,000 players playing it all the time. So that's the Steam charts, basically they're saying that any given one time there is over 800,000 people playing this game. Now, yes, the game is coming to PS5 at the start of September. It's a full release, so you'll be able to get it digitally, uh, etc. No problem there. And at some point in the future, it's coming to Xbox Series consoles. They have currently got a problem with the Xbox Series consoles in that the game can be split screen. So two player on the same screen, but they're having trouble with the Series S basically getting that to work on there. So accommodating the power of the Series S. They can get it working on the Series X, no problem at all. Series S, they are struggling a bit. It's taking a bit longer. And the Xbox guys, the development team, they've sent people from Microsoft over to them to, to help them out at Larion Studios. Anyway, that's that out of the way. So you know it's coming through all the platforms. What is this? Fantasy. Dungeons and Dragons, and as you can see, pretty damn nice graphics. You're running around until you come to foes, combat. And this bit did actually quite surprise me, as I say, I'm new to this. Combat isn't your normal combat. It's not like Destiny or Diablo, where it's actually action there and then. It's click-based, turn-based. So you can move you can attack you can switch between your characters you know defend that type of thing and that's the way it is the game has a lot of cinematics in between it and they are very very good in fact i will be uploading the main intro cinematic because i thought it was worthwhile it's very very good the game has a large uh, story it's an rpg game and by the look of things we're looking at about 80 hours on average with you know maybe more with side quests and stuff like that and obviously you've got a lot of variation on characters but sticking with movement and combat you've got an awful lot of uh, things that you can click on you can collect things so you've got an inventory a stash that you can fill up and that is one of the main things with this managing your inventory your inventory is going to be full really really quickly um, that becomes a bit of a problem as you go through the game this is actually the start that you can see playing away here so this is like the start section of the game you get decisions and choices to be made as you play through it now those choices can be as big a deal as whether you know or not you have a character to come with you uh, like a companion character or whether you just leave them to their own fate so they either die or they end up being your enemy so choices in this game are a pretty big deal as an example on the screen there i chose to save the person that had been captured in that tube and when you go to do that and you make a decision on that based on your preferences it will roll a virtual dice sort of thing now if you've used what your character class is at such as this character is a sorcerer and she knew there was magic yeah i hope to locking that thing so we went the magic route yes let's figure out the magic and you know, disable the magic and open the door. If we'd gone another route and looked for a physical latch with this character, it probably wouldn't have worked. So like I say, class sort of dictates decision on this. Now, speaking of class, this game's character customization is massive. You can change every aspect of how the character looks, how the character acts, its abilities, and obviously classes themselves, you know, barbarian, warlock, sorcerer, rogue, there are loads more than that. There are absolutely tons of them, you know, you can be an elf or there's just lots and lots of them to look through. And you can fine tune each one of the main abilities and secondary abilities. But you have got to bear in mind your combat is that turn based system. Now that may not be for a lot of people and that's why I'm putting this video out there because like I say, I was surprised to see turn-based. I thought this was going to be a, a more, you know, I don't know, free-running type affair. It reminds me, by the same studio actually, as Divinity Original Sin. That was an overhead view. This is a 3D view. It's as if they sort of took the game and spun it round. So before you spend your hard-earned money, guys, 
bear in mind, yes, it's got nice graphics, it's got nice cinematics, it's got fantastic character creation, Dungeons and Dragons, turn-based combat, though. So is that for you? You know, it's a lot of things with Diablo at the moment, people thinking, oh, yeah, this is a good game, it's in the press, but then they sell it, because it's not. Guys, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Catch you again next time. Bye for now.